<laughs> hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I'm Mike. Dan? Oh, buddy. I like the look of this label. What are we drinking? Mike, <clears throat> we have a beverage from Hot Butcher for the world. <laughs> this is their All Beef Frank. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. What a gorgeous label. Oh, yeah. Well, Makes me feel a little inadequate, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you have I'll be frank. Uh, he's lifting weights. Uh, mm -hmm. So, this is a Simcoe and Nelson. Uh, what's that? Great handlebar mustache. It's almost like they put uh, Joe from Jow's Arcade in a hot dog bun. <laughs> made him yeah. lift weights. Yeah, he's wearing the chucks and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, Perfect. Simcoe and Nelson Savant Hop Double India Pale Ale. 8% ABV. I mean, uh, can I date? Nope. Um, uh, no, I, I have a dark blue, black mark, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, I never did look if this is, you know what? I'm going to look real quick while you pour. Okay. But you I, I, I don't know if this is tied to the kielbasa oh, king. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, this beer comes courtesy of the good folks over at Hop Butcher for the world. Thank you, Hop Butcher. You glorious. Yeah, they don't glorious to say. Frank. So. Well, little hashtag proper glassware makes the beer much better. Give a hard yeah. pour. Oh, just letting her eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little hard pour. Hard pour pub. <laughs> hard pour pub. Is it another Hayes Boys thing? That's uh, this uh, Brian the Beer Snob. He's the studio. It's called the Hardport Pub. That's pretty great. Yeah. Um, so that is a, a darker kind of orange juice, thick, creamy looking beer. Nice finger ahead on it. Oh man, it looks like a big hazy. <laughs> it does. A little subdued. Although it is cold. Yeah, it is kind of cold. Oh, but there's still, there's some tropical notes in there. Oh, geez. There's oh, that man. Nelson funk. I was going to say there's a little grape. Nice green grape. Lime. 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 Sweet citrus. A little dank herbaceousness to it. Pleasant pine. <laughs> Pleasant pine. <laughs> Pleasant dank. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> what would you do if you ever visit Chicago and you're a hot butcher and you look over at the all employee parking lot and somebody's got a license plate? And it's like PLZ and pine. <laughs> Pleasant pine. I mean, that's the guy. <laughs> it, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. <laughs> He's got something on him, so they just keep putting it as a tasting note. <laughs> Not as a pleasant pie in there, but you know, if we don't, uh, smells good. <sighs> Ready to dive in? Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, cheers. cheers. Thanks, Hot Butcher. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. There's like a, a really vegetal, dank, concord green grape note to this thing, like just ripped right off the vine. Holy. Man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That... So I'm getting a bunch of grape skin. Oh yeah, like, green, green Concord grape skin. Very grassy, very grassy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a like floral grass. I'm in wading through the, the the tall grass. Like just like I'm like. Barry Sanders zipping 
trying to avoid all the ticks and the high grass. <laughs> don't want the Lyme disease. And I'm just like, you know, spin. You were getting Lyme in it, but not Lyme disease. That's right. Oh, yeah. I mean, I am just skipping through the vineyards, picking grapes at my leisure and just enjoying every one of them. This thing is mm -hmm. delicious. I think the there is a, a nice little – there's some other fruits going on back there, a little bit of like maybe some mango and some pineapple, but it's almost like just a complete background noise to that Nelson. Like it's front and center. Ooh. Man, this is something. It's it's dirty and dank, but also bright at the same time. I guess you could say there's a little mango in it. Mm -hmm. A little earthy. Wow. Nice spritz of carbonation. Still kind of it's it's still kind of hefty. Yeah. This is all stuff you could have done, you know, before we started, but it is what it done is. Done what? That thing's going on. Oh yeah, Danny in the Dark is in full effect. There we go. Sure. Oh man, my lips are a little sticky. Sticky. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm at a point right now where I don't even want to critique the beer. I just want to sit back I know. And, and let it direct my palate to where it needs to go. Yeah. And I think, I think we really did ourselves a favor because when, when, if you haven't watched our unboxing, we got a handful of different beers. We had doubles of each of them and we kind of were like, oh, let's, let's split some up. Let's take some home so we can stream yard and we can each enjoy the whole beer. And yep. this was when we were like, ah, I think we'd like to both drink this whole beer. And I'm really glad we did because I'm enjoying the hell out of this thing. Yeah, it's. Um... Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that burp is delicious. So as it warms, I'm definitely get this kind of like really kind of lemony thing coming out now. Okay. So on the forefront, it's like um, kind of sweet. But on the back end, it gets a little bit more. I still got a lot of beer left in the can, too. I know. I did, too. I was like, oh, man, I got a ton of beer left. Like, And you know there's some goodies at the bottom of the can. Freaking hot butcher in there. The cereal prize chunks. Yeah, right. Man. Yeah. That's a fabulous beer. Looks great. Feels great. Tastes great. Did you look up? Wait, is this part of the the series? Uh, it didn't say. Okay. I, I just don't know if it's um. <laughs> the thinking man's beer. You're gonna contemplate some things. Listen, I'm shot. I'm shot. <laughs> Let's read the notes. Yeah, let's check the tasting notes. What do they oh, have to tell? This review is going in the vault. I'll tell you that this, much. This, come on now. This can is gorgeous. This maroon. I, I love this can. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Some bright citrus. Okay. Uh, crisp melon. Tangy berry. Did we get none of those things? <laughs> I was all great. Citrus. I guess I guess citrus. I, I said some subtle citrus on the back, Chris, but I melon. Dude, I was all freaking grapevine over here. I think some melons coming out. Some like some like cantaloupe. There is a crisp aspect. Yeah, I want to say melon. Like that. The carbonation level is real nice. Berry, that's a myth. <laughs> Yeah, the, the berry has never been in one beer in all of history. So I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, what do you what do you rate this thing, Dan? I gave it four. All right, I'm giving it a I'll give it a four point two five. This is delicious. Okay. Stuff. All right, all right, gang. Uh, down below, we're gonna we're gonna leave. 
we're, I got to lock this up. I got to encrypt this video so it could never be opened by the wrong people. It's going it's in the vault. You'll see, you'll see this on one of our uh, old school vault release videos years down the line. Hot put your throwback. Yay. There you go. <laughs> after, after the whole planet melts after the eclipse, they'll unearth this someday. And, yeah. yeah. wonder why we even kept it to begin with. That's all Indeed. good. All right. Okay. Thanks Bye. for watching, everybody. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Cheers.